What's up all my nerd friends out there? This is Mr. Chill here. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on Vinland Saga, the season finale, the whole season, season two. And whew, it was great. Very emotional roller coaster, very on uh, deep. Feels like the writers, the creators of this got like the real, they went back in time and got the real feelings of the people that went through the went through all that time during the Viking ages and the wars back then, the slaves back then, they, they brought their real feelings. And um, this gave us a lesson and all that stuff. This uh, was heartwarming. All that was so great. The season finale of the show was awesome. The beginning of the ep season of this show was awesome. The whole show was awesome. Trust me, I was like, I was wondering where was this going in the beginning because I was like, okay, Dofi is going to go back fighting. He's going to go kill people. He's going to go back in war. He's going to protect his friends. Well, what's Dofi's character now? Because when we left from Phil and Saga season one, he, his goal was over. Basically, his um, goal was to kill Asklin, the man that killed his father. He, that was his main goal. Get strong enough to defeat him, kill him, and revenge his father's death. But he died. He died in last season. Even Asklin said, what will you do now, Dofi, since you're your dreams and goals are gone. Like there's your meaning of life is gone. What will you do? And when we seen Dolphin again, when we saw Dolphin, he was kind of like an empty shell, just living, doesn't care. Like even when he went to that, I remember when that warrior group in a farm, that group of warriors, and they're slicing him up, basically cut off one of his ears. He didn't care. He just kill me then, do it. Like he wanted to die. He didn't care about life. It was endless shell. But we've seen such a great character development from Dolphy through this whole season. It was awesome, you know. We thought we were going to see, like, a, a warrior, savage, reborn warrior. And he's going to go fight an army. Maybe we'll stop the, the king, Kanut, uh, the, the young king with the character development with him as well, who, who he turned to be. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Um, like, so much character development, like, so much changes in here. It was crazy. Definitely would come with Dolphy and the king in this show. Um, how how much they changed. Definitely in the end, what happened in the end as well. Um, but Dolphy's character development was such great in this show. You know, my favorite episode in the show, this season, season two, Vinland Saga, was when Dolphy basically um, kind of experienced hell. It, it, was, it was their version, the Vikings fell in hell up version. Endless war, fighting, eternity, all the dead uh, warriors, all the murderers and killers who fight over and over, all those people that fought in raids and battles, who die in battle, just endless wars. And I even saw some of his crewmates, he rocked him back with Vinland Saga 1, season 1. Oscar was there telling him, this is where you belong. Your victim's going to drag you down here. All the people you killed, and you just see the body of Quartz holding on to Dolphy to drag him down here because this is where you belong. And Dolphy was breaking down like he regretted it. He, he, he was sorry for all the pain he caused so many people, all the people he cared. It seemed crazier when he saw Anar, his friend, the new character in his, in his, in his life, the new character in the show. Anard, Anard, forgive me if I mispronounce any of the character's name. I'm terrible with name. I'm trying my best. Please forgive me. But yeah, his friend, his basic brother now, was a victim of these Vikings raids. And they killed his father. They killed basically every through his life, he raided his villages and killed him, killed his mother, his sister, and became a slave, got cat, caught, captured by one of them and became a slave. And it was so deep and sad because so many people experienced these and we see in these lives and they just want peace, you know, peace and happiness, live their life, be farmers. That's all they want, they grow life and everything. But wars keep surrounding them and keeps happening, coming to them like they had they're powerless. They can't do nothing. They're not warriors. Some of these people are not warriors. They just want to live. They want um, to have kids, live a life without war. And that's what the whole story is about, that Dolphy, he wanted to, to redeem himself, to make Pete, um, basically, um, make, uh, like, redeem, yeah, redeem himself. He wants to make a land called Finland that's free. Free of war, free for all the slaves. Any slave that want to run away, they can come live with him. Any uh, people that want to run away for war, they come here. People that just want to live, like with all chaos, come to Finland. He's going to create that. And that's a new journey. That's what season 
three, and we don't know when season three was coming to be about. But that was an amazing episode, heartwarming. Asuka basically jumped down and gave Dolphy a second chance, saying, "Go, go, make your dreams come true. Go live and go redeem yourself for all the pain you caused over the life, all the victims you killed. Go redeem yourself." And he is, and just so heartwarming. Definitely when they met another character through the story. I wonder how what this character was going to go with. Uh, Einhart, 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 um, the, the female character that Einhart was in love with, um, and Dolphy was friends with that female slave, um, tell her story that basically same thing, her, uh, husband moved off a of war and basically lost and they, they raided her village, kidnapped her, took, sold her to slave, took her son away. We don't even know where her son's at. I wonder if we'll ever see her son. We don't know if his son's dead or not. I mean, he, he plays a character in the future. That would be crazy with me him again. Um, then um, we see her live. Uh, the basic developed bond. Ainer, uh, well, loved her a lot. And Dolphy became great friends with her. And in her tragic story, we see her husband again. Her husband was a raging monster. Snake had to put him down. They had to basically kill him. Had, kill him and she set him free just a tragic story all around with her and her getting beat to death with lost her child just that's what i guess set dolphy and anna right there off like we had to get away from here we had to um build this new free land and set this dream in motion we're tired of this man we see like we they thought the farm life they were being happy like we'll be free we can do what we want um we don't need to be slaves anymore it was peaceful for them for a while just living there was they had to deal with some troublemakers, obviously, like people treating like shit and everything. But they really didn't have to witness war until that king, that king Canut. And the character developed with him, ooh, turning like his father, killing his brother to take his kind of like take full control, take his land in a way, his part of the land. This everything he wanted to control everything by force and fear and make sure no rebellion, no no uprising. Everyone follows him. He was going to take that farmer that. Dorothy was on his master land by force. And his son was a Bruce Dork. I think his name was um uh damn, I forgot his son's name, but Dorgan or Dorgan, he was a monster too. He was all pissed when Dolphy was able to convince the king to leave. That was a pretty deep episode as well. Like he was basically all the Vikings that were basically making fun of him when he were punching the crap out of him to like a hundred times. If you survive a hundred punches, I'll let you see the king. Dolphy had to go say, All right, go for it. And he and everyone was like looking at him, I was like, damn, he he's doing it. He's doing it. And they're all so shocked, surprised. Um, he thought he was stupid and like really I'm gonna punch you a hundred times five. And he was punching his hardest and they honored him, like, I'm sorry, I disrespect you. I, I believe you now. You were one of our knights, the king's knights and a warrior of his and which is like honored. They they don't want to kill him. Like they looked up to so him, like, damn, man, you really are a, a soldier, you really are honorable, you really there's something special, like they witness like something holy just coming out, like a, like kind of like a Jesus Jesus figure or something like that. Like they, they were shocked of what kind of character he is and what kind of person he is. Like he, he doesn't want to kill nobody. He doesn't want to fight. He's trying to find a solution without killing. That's so cool. The only time he threw down, he had no choice. Um, he really didn't do no damage. He was just defense most of the time when he fought Snake. And that was epicness when he saw his stance. Um, his fighting stance and Snake trying to let um that female slave that they were friends with, um, get away with her husband, and he was throwing down and said that was epic. I was like, oh my god! And when when they went to two could continue, that was so. I was like, oh, how you guys could do that? And I was waiting. It was just so cool to see that. And I I kind of wish he was in kill mode like season one in a way, just to see if he, when if he had blades in his hand, how strong he would. Uh, fair against Snake. Will you kill them? Will you be more better with a sword than Snake is? Because Snake was a pretty cool character as well in here. Just the war on the farm was cool too. See, we got war in here, but it wasn't with Dolphy. And that I think that's what season three is going to be all about. Because season three, now we, now the show's over. And it was heartwarming too. I love the ending of this show. Seeing fine Dolphy went back home and saw his mother. It's, it was funny his sister didn't um, believe that was him. And even when he did, he still punched him. Because she was a brute even when they were young. Um, and kind of like a big sister. Kind of like more of a big brother than a big sister. And just punching him and always picking him. That's always, they always been. Uh, the relationship, brother and sister, when they were in Finland season one. But his mother right away recognized him. Like, who, 
what kind of mother doesn't know their own son gave birth to you? Even so many years, you know what your son, even probably when you're older, just feel it like, yeah, you're my son. I, I, I know it's you. You just have a feeling here in your stomach. For all the mothers that watch my show, you probably know off the bat, like if your son was gone for even a long 10 years, six years, whatever, you haven't seen him for a long time, you you know uh, how you look, how you know the feeling that, yeah, this is my son. Just knowing because you gave birth to him. Of course, you know, that was a heartwarming just because, you know, they went through so much, you know, his mother uh, thought he was dead and uh, missing him and now seeing right in front of him, it's like, Oh my God, that was my baby right there. Now he's all grown up. And even imagine hearing all his stories and he what dope he went through. Like, dude, I haven't seen, like he said, I haven't seen my mother forever. And the pain he went through, all the wars and violence and slavery and losing friends and just, uh, it's a long story, dope. And I can't wait for more because we're not done yet. He still got Phil's dream of making a, a, a land for freedom and war free from war, violence, chaos, all that stuff that's been happening in this story. And there were some flashbacks that got me right there. First, I saw like a warrior, the unknown character, I don't know. It looked like a young version of Asuka. I don't know it could be because it was like going back and forth with flashback of characters, like showing the old version, the young version. Like so the uh, Thor and his mother, young, and run, I guess that's the time they ran away and took their daughter either, um, to a new land, to Iceland where he lived. But, and they showed a warrior clip. Like I said, it looked like a young version of Askin in a way. But he, I don't know if it is or not. If that, is that the next enemy? Is that the next guy that's going to be maybe going to war or trying to bring violence to the new land of um, Dolphy wants to build? Because there's always more kings out. Even the king Kanut, he when Dolphy convinced him, they leave the farm, no more violence, no more all that stuff. And he basically, yeah, I said, I'm done with war. I'm not going to cause no more pain. I'm not going to cause no more people uh, trouble for you, Dolphy. Don't worry. And he ended the war at the farm. He basically he had the biggest army in all the kingdom and let it all go. So you guys go back home, go back to your own land. We don't need this. I'm just going to send down my own kingdom and be a good ruler. That's it. And now who's the new threat? There, there's always a threat. There's always more kings that want to conquer more lands and take and all that stuff. So... What's going to happen out there? We'll see. Season three, I know that I don't know the story still going on. I'm not, if this is a manga, ongoing manga, or this is a novel, I don't know. Um, I'm just watching, I only watch the anime, Vinland Saga, season two and one. That's the only thing I know about Vinland Saga. So, anyone knows what's happening in the manga story, or if it is a manga story, or a novel, or whatever it is, Vinland is, don't put any spoilers in the bottom. Just, I can't wait for the show to come back. I don't know when it's coming back. It took a while for Finland Saga season two, um, two come back. Uh, season one, whew, it was way back then. I think like took like two or three years, I believe, maybe longer. I don't know. It feels like a long time since season one was out. But great show. Love the new cast characters. The battles, the develop, character development with Dolphy um, was awesome. Aner was a great character as well. Love the bro brother bondship, the hardship they both went through. <sighs> Just every episode was amazing. And all together from season one and season two, both ending, just amazing story. If you watch, I recommend anyone that maybe just watching this, trying to get a taste of Finland Saga, go rewatch or go watch season one. Definitely, season one's amazing. Uh, I wish there was more with Thor, Thorkill, the one that fought Thorfi, the big old giant um monster warrior that we saw that wanted to fight Thorfi. I That's the only thing I wish we got. In this season was a part three, I guess. Part three, I think, of Dolphy and Dorkil uh, fighting with each other. And that would have been amazing. That would have been awesome. But that would develop the purpose of the show. Because Dolphy is all about peace now. And um, um, fighting, um, redeeming itself. No more. He doesn't want fights. He doesn't want to swing a sword no more. He doesn't want to hit people. He doesn't want to kill no one. He doesn't want to do anything. He wants to be at peace. He wants to live a nice, uh, peaceful life and live happy with his family and friends. That's all he does, wants to live. And he wants other people to join that too. Freedom, no more violence or wars, all that stuff. So we'll see if Dolphy and Anar could build this land. Can't wait to see. Looks like he trimmed himself up. He's clean. And we basically got that character back. It was We haven't seen a trimmed up face like that for a long time. Like not dirty, not sad. Not, he looks like a, a newborn character, Dolphy does. So I can't wait for season three whenever that comes. 
Ah, Mapa did Napa did wonderful job. Studio Napa or Mapa? I think I, I think Napa, yeah. Great. They did a wonderful job. Effects was awesome as well. But comment below, give me your guys' thoughts of the show, Vinland Saga Season 2. What you like about what was your favorite episode? What do you think is gonna happen in season three? Um, um, like I said, no spoilers, just give me your prediction, what's gonna happen, and um Give me your guys' thoughts. I'd like to hear it and read it in the comments. Thank you all for watching, though. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Go check out my Demon Slayer review as well. I just dropped that um, yesterday. It was amazing. Season 3, episode 11 was awesome. Loved it. Great show. Go check out Demon Slayer if you haven't heard Demon Slayer. Amazing show as well. But thank you all for watching again. I hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.